Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragonair Silent Gods video. In today's video, we are back on the Season 4 test server because the Dance of Misfortune event to get Calavera has just begun. Before I get into how the event works, I just want to say a massive thank you to Dragonair Silent Gods for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in giving the game a try, please do click the link in the description or the pinned comment and get involved today. So, the Dance of Misfortune event is the... Um, seasonal event that we get in the second month of every season. So we've previously had Utior, we've had Ardreth, we've had uh, Eladia, who has proven to be incredibly useful this season. And now we've got Calavera, the Jinxed Dancer. So before I get into how the event works, I'm just going to quickly run through Calavera herself. So first of all, as you can see, she's kind of a Day of the Dead style, but she's um, a poison support. So first of all, on her passive, whenever she casts a skill, a temporary illusion is briefly generated at the hero's location. This illusion will follow the hero as they cast and produce additional effects. Her battle skill dispels one debuff from each enemy, uh, each ally, and grants recovery over time to them for five seconds. Illusion spellcasting has a 75% chance to dispel one buff from each nearby enemy, with a 50% chance of inflicting charmed on them for three seconds. Next up we've got her ultimate skill, so heals all allies and grants them a, a defense up to for 10 seconds. Illusion spellcasting deals 510% attack poison damage to all enemies with 100% chance to inflict attack penalty 2 for 10 seconds. So, the way I see Calavera is she's kind of a hybrid between um, Garius, the only difference is Garius obviously heals slightly more and also heals, uh, also dispels himself with any debuffs. But the difference here is Calavera is bringing defense up to and attack penalty, which is something that obviously Garius can't do. So you're just kind of sacrificing a bit of healing for the attack penalty and defense up, which in my opinion is a worthwhile trade-off. And on top of that, Calavera is somewhat like um, Nathaniel, the poison healer, because as you can see there, dispelling one debuff from each nearby ally and granting recovery over time, it's something that Nathaniel does. He also gives defense up one, I think. So yeah, Calavera is a really interesting support who's probably going to be game-changing for everybody. I imagine the meta will be to run Calavera in any poison or fire team in Season 4 as your support. Um, obviously really good multipliers, 550% defense. Garius is 600%. If you think how much Garius heals, then uh, obviously Calavera is quite exciting. Um, so yeah, that is the hero that we're going to be able to attain. So the way this works is we've got 34 days and 16 hours to collect evoking petals to summon the legendary hero Calavera. So 90 of them are available from the dungeon masquerade which we'll look at in just a second. We've then got summoning to get evoking petals, we can get 60 from there. And just like every season, the continental challenges where we have 6 different bosses that rotate, well they don't rotate sorry, they are available each week, you can only fight one uh, each one once each week. Uh, the first week you can fight three, second week four, uh, third week five, and the final week you can fight all six of them. So you're going to be using your best teams each week to push as much damage as you possibly can to get as high as possible on the leaderboards to get as many petals as possible. So first of all, the Dungeon Masquerade, if we have a look here, the, these are events that will rotate throughout the event. So this one lasts for five days and then another one will start. So this one is to do the Grave of Venom. Each one will be a different dungeon, so obviously you just want to be able to clear those dungeons, get these rewards. Um, it's nice to see that you'll be able to get some mythic gear from this, uh, but also obviously 15 evoking petals at the same time. Um, the big thing with this obviously is um, your, they are very easy, so you're going to be able to complete them without much worry, the kind of, in terms of the event. Uh, 90 is available from there. That's basically a free one. You, you're going to get these no matter what. The hard part to complete this event comes from competing in the Continental Challenge and summoning. If you don't have dice, obviously you do need 60 dice to get the maximum. Then you're not going to be able to get the hero unless you do very well in the Continental Challenges. So just to obviously go through this in terms of the summons, it is a normal banner. So anything you can get any hero in the game is available on this banner starting off nicely with a legendary here um but all you need to do is summon as many dice as you can whether you choose to go for the full 60 or you choose to wait till the end of the month to see what you need and then summon that i've personally gone for the full 60 at the start of each 
event because I want to get the hero as soon as possible rather than waiting for the final week. We've got another legendary here. Um, you're nice. So yeah, all you need to do here is just summon the dice that you can or obviously wait till the end of the month and summon what you need to use, save the rest, which I would advise it's probably the best way to do it. The legendary luck here is crazy. Um, it's four and 30 dice. Five. <laughs> Let's see if I can get any more luck while we're at it. Uh, coming to the end now. Ten more. Last one, are we going to get a legendary? Nope. Right, so as you can see there, we've done our 60 summons. All of our rewards are available on the side here. So if we click this, you'll see we'll get all 60 of the evoking petals. Right, finally then, we've got the Continental Challenges, which is kind of the biggest active part of this event. So we'll be fighting six different bosses, one from each element. Each of those is paired off to another element, which does 100% more damage to them. Um, I am going to do bosses uh, videos separately on these bosses, but just to have a look, if we go to challenge here, we can see here that Yafir takes more necrotic damage, so Radiance Necrotic. Um, the necrotic boss takes 100% more poison damage. The poison damage takes 100% more radi uh, radiant damage. The Ice boss takes 100% more fire damage. The Fire boss takes 100% more lightning damage. And finally, the Lightning boss takes 100% more cold damage. So that is the bosses. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to break down into these in a separate video, um, kind of showcasing the teams I'm going to use, testing them out, hoping, hoping they're going to work. But obviously, in terms of the rewards here, like I said, you want to be able to push as much as you can to get onto the leaderboards to get these rewards each week they're going to significantly help you to get closer to Calavera and um, in terms of buying Calavera as you can see in the shop here it is I can't show you but it's 200 to buy her and um, they've actually thrown the previous ones in as well this season so you can decide who you go for so all of these will be 200 and um, the only one I'd say is potentially worth it is Ardreth if you didn't want to get Calavera but I feel like Calavera is a must-have so you probably should go for her um, you can also get the items to inspire any of the previous event heroes as well. So that is the shop for this season. It closes at the end of the season, um, but obviously we do only have 35 days to push and complete this event. So that is all for this video, just a bit of an overview of the event. And um, I do just want to say again, once again, a massive thank you to Dragonair Silent Gods for sponsoring the video. Remember, if you do want to give the game a try, please do click the link in the description or the pinned comment and get involved today. But other than that, just a massive thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.